<laughs> All right, well, that was annoying. I didn't touch anything. The feed just ended and went to my home screen. I was only 10 minutes in, so I'm not going to add that to a previous video. So that's unfortunate that my feed just ended abruptly. So whatever that means, I don't know. But we're back, so I just, uh, that's really annoying. Okay, so we gotta start over there. I mean, I don't. That's annoying. That doesn't usually happen where my feed just ends. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I have full bars and I have uh, a good reception. I didn't do anything today that I didn't do yesterday. Okay, well, hopefully it doesn't cut out like that again, or, you know. So, we're still walking. I was going to talk to some people kind of around that time that that happened, and you just kind of lose your mojo, and then you just got to keep walking, and you just kind of got to start over and think about what happened. Maybe I can go uh, hang out over here at this visitor center where people go to eat over here at this corner and I can just hang out there like Anonymous did yesterday and hold a sign maybe get people to interact with me a little bit once I get some conversations in me today I'll be able to be a little bit more aggressive it's always this first 20 minutes or so Kind of just getting to warm up, get some thoughts out. Oh, so How you guys doing? What's up? You on break? Uh, no, yeah, well, kind of. Do you guys uh, want to do like a little social experiment? Yeah, yeah. Okay, up. right on. Um, what do you think of these uh, bumper stickers? If you were to see these bumper stickers on the back of somebody's car, what would your initial reaction be? The last one, that sucked when times 10. Yeah, what does stratospheric aerosol injections mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Yep. Chemtrails. Yeah. It's a nice way to call it chemtrails. Uh, recently, Harvard got a $20 million contract to spray our skies. And before, we were getting chemtrailed, right? But then when I would mention chemtrails to people, they would say, well, that's just a regular exhaust coming from an airplane. But they're chemicals. Barium, aluminum. This is all stuff that we have to breathe in, and then it goes in. Spray our skies, yep. Really? So, yeah, seriously, yep. It's called chemtrails. I've never heard of it before, Yeah. Yeah, it's a new, yeah. It's a new, it's a new, it's a new uh, atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, it's new information for a lot of people, and that's kind of why I'm walking so, around. Yeah, you just go on Google, type in chemtrails. Really, I mean, spraying our skies. Yeah, seriously, yeah, chemtrails. C C H E M T R I A L S. Yeah, chemtrails. They're poisoning our skies, man. Yep. They're poisoning our skies. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, well, that and among other so what things. Can we do? What can we do? Yeah. Uh, you can write your your congressman and your state capital, and you can tell them to stop killing our children and giving them autism and Aspergers and everything else through vaccines and spraying our skies. True. Yeah. So. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We live in a a deceptive reality. Oh yeah. Yeah. So with these uh, with these bumper stickers, the top one is uh, like hashtag legalize free 
flat earth. What do you think about that? Legalize flat earth. What's that, what does that mean? Um, what do you think we live right now in terms of like our solar system? Yeah. So like Earth? Yeah. Like with our solar system, you believe uh, when we were taught in school that we believed in a ball, right? Yeah. 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 Do you believe that? Round. Yeah, yes. like round like a basketball? Yeah. Yeah. What if I was to tell you that in the last three years that there's kind of a community uh, movement of new consciousness to let everybody know that we actually probably live on a flat earth, more like probably a pizza instead of a ball? Me too. Oh, oh, sorry. <coughs> I want to get deep, but anyway. <laughs> hey, I'm here to get deep, man, because I want to wake people up. I want to let people know that we're being lied to by NASA and our government. Yeah. So they thought the earth was flat. Yep. Yeah. And so why do you think that changed? Why do you think they believed that the earth was flat back then and now we believe that it's a ball? Uh, uh, satellite? Do you believe satellites exist? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Why do you believe that they exist? What what evidence do you have that would I, I've seen one myself. You've seen one with your own physical eyes? Google Earth? Okay, did you know that on Google Earth, that image that you get of Earth is actually CGI? It's not real. So it's fake, so it's fake. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's fake, man. What? Yeah. It's fake. How the F is fake? Well, can I just show you this? What, what does that look like to you? This is what they tell us a satellite looks like. No, no, yeah. it's a satellite. No, it, it is a satellite. This is an actual satellite. I got it from. It's a place. It's a called Verisat. Right. Yeah. So this is a satellite that they plan on launching on June first. But this is a CGI image of a satellite in space. Wait, it, it, it don't exist though. It doesn't exist because this is a CGI image. You've seen animated movies like Disney and stuff. Yeah. Are Disney movies real? No. Yeah, they're man-made on a computer, right? Yeah. yeah. This is also made on a computer. So if we don't have physical evidence of a satellite being in space, orbiting Earth, what evidence do you have that you can provide that satellites do exist, is my question. I don't have an answer either. Yeah. So... She wants to play it. Oh my god, what a kind of dog is that? It's a tiny dog. I never seen one before. There's a beanie on it. Uh, I hear me say beanie on it. It's like a terrier or something. Let me, uh, let me ask you guys a question. Um, we're all fairly familiar with like the court system and stuff. Um, and so... If somebody was accused of murdering somebody, right, and they're brought into trial, but let's say, for example, they killed this person with a, an icicle, right, an icicle it would melt, right, so there wouldn't be any proof of a murder weapon, and let's say that this person is brought to a pig farm and all the pigs eat the person, so the person's body is gone, what are the chances that a person would be convicted of killing this victim in court if there's no murder weapon and there's no body think so okay how about yourself what do you think okay if there's no murder weapon and there's no body most likely a person is to get off 100% because there's no proof right well somebody knew that right well somebody may or may not I mean but there's hypothetically but you got to prove it the state has to prove that there was a murder, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And so if I, was to, if I was to provide people with evidence that all of the pictures of Earth from space are fake CGI images, and all the satellites in space are fake CGI images, and all of the information that we get about outer space is all computer animated, what would a person's logical conclusion come to? Is space real or could it be fake? It is real. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What evidence do you have that you can you think is outer space is real? Because you got you got Milky Way, you got galaxy. We look up every day. Right? See the stars. 
installed the knife. Uh huh. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Can I implore you and just really uh, make sure that when I walk away, you understand that space is not real? Everything that we were taught growing up is fake and fraudulent, created by the establishment. A lot of things. Yeah, it's all fake, man. Everything about outer space is a fraud. We're being lied to, man. Why do you think I'm here? Do you really think I'm here because I want to troll you and just get a reaction, or do you think I want to uh, give you knowledge? I know it's. I know it looks real, but you can't. You're basing your evidence on somebody else's word, right? Science. Yeah, but how do you get your ideas of outer space? Separate from your own imagination, separate from NASA and movies and everything. No. Okay. Look up and see the stars. Okay. So those could just be lights in the sky, though, right? Possibly. Yeah. Some point. Okay. Possibly so if they're just regular lights and they're not planets, they're not planets, and they're just lights in the sky, how does that make outer space something that we can physically travel to? That's a good point. Oh shit. Yeah, I got an answer, but I don't have an answer Okay. But that's 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 is a massive deception, and we're being lied to. I'm, I'm sorry, bro, but I can't yeah. I know, and, and until you research it yourself, this is just my opinion, but can I encourage you to look up information about a flat earth? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Right on, fellas. What's your name? Ghost. Ghost. Joshua. Red. Red. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Yes, we do. Yeah, have a good rest of your afternoon. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, those guys are cool. They drew me in. They wanted to see what I was doing. So, it's always good to have people be interested in what you're doing. You carry around a selfie stick and a cell phone. People want to know what, what's up. So, so that was good. Just kind of warming up, you know. That's what you got to do before... Basketball games, just a little shoot around. Just get familiar with what it is I want to talk about, how I want to share the information. I'm going to be aggressive too. So if anybody thinks that I'm too aggressive or I'm not passive enough, like some weak Jesus hanging on a cross in a Catholic church. Probably isn't the channel for you. Um, I'm not the typical person that you've come across. And if you think that you can do better, make a YouTube channel and uh, go out and promote whatever it is that you believe in or you feel is important that the public needs to know. Or sit back, drink your coffee, and just listen. I'm not, I'm not going to take the advice of uh, globe heads trying to detour me from doing what I know I need to do at this moment in time, so I'm going to be aggressive. If you have been around long enough and you don't understand my heart in this situation, then uh, clearly you're deceived. And you and I just don't have the same spirit right now. Uh, you and I just don't see eye to eye, and that's fine. But I'm not gonna be a weak, passive, <coughs> um, engager. You know, I don't, I don't really know what, to, what else to say about that. So. That's my stance. 
Um, you have to be aggressive with these people. You have to let them know that this is a serious matter. You can't go around joking about it. Because I am right in front of their face. There's a lot of people here. I think I might just camp out here for a little bit. Um, just got to be mindful of the time so that I know I need to start walking around so I can try to get around the lake. This is where Anonymous was yesterday, so maybe we can just hang out here and hold the sign and try to draw some people in and then be a little bit more aggressive later or just kind of see how things go. But we're going to hold this sign out. Legalize Flat Earth. I thought that was pretty fun. Um, don't be shy about going into, you know, a think tank and just having people spam uh, ideas and whatnot. We're all sharing ideas about this topic here today. Try to get some reactions out of people. This food does make me hungry. There's food in that building there. But you gotta be aggressive with these people. You gotta, all of these people believe we live on a globe. In one way or another. However their worldview was built so that they believe that uh, we live on a ball. How you doing? Good. What do you think about these bumper stickers? Do you think uh, you'd agree, disagree with these? Yeah. Yeah. So you know when we were taught in school that we believe on a ball, right? Yeah. We live on a ball and stuff. What if I was to tell you that that's not actually true and we actually live on a flat earth like a pizza? Yeah, I don't think that's true. You don't? And what uh, evidence would you be able to provide me that I could come to that same conclusion? Not using NASA or Hollywood. Oh, well, limiting what I can say. I can, yeah, because I think that that's how a lot of people get their observations of a globe earth and why can't we understand that we live on a flat earth with our own personal eyes sure I'm, I'm fairly certain that the earth is round because the earth. Yeah. okay so that's what they tell you in school right is you'll fall off the earth uh, people, people used to think that yeah. okay um, can, I, can I show you this picture here what does that look like? Okay, so what if I was to tell you that that's probably more in line with our reality and see that white thing around the edge, like a pizza crust? What if that was Antarctica and Antarctica wasn't its own separate continent but it actually ha held water in so the water couldn't actually get out because it's held in by a crust? So what about but it's not though. What about the magnetism? From the yeah, so every time, when you buy a compass, where does it point? Like where is its default? It always points north, right? So if you were to go to like Australia or South America, do you think that they sell southern pointing compasses? No, they don't. And to use a compass correctly, if you're in like Australia, for example, you still have to hold it level with the ground, right? Okay, so you're not going to hold a compass pointing towards what they tell us is the core of the Earth, because that's the magnetism, right? Because you're holding it. You're right. And okay. The earth is flat. Sure. What are you trying to accomplish? Uh, I'm trying to wake people up and let people know that everything that NASA gives us in regards to outer space they admit is CGI and compute and created on a computer yes so what about the sun what about it yeah i mean is that cgi how how far away do you do they tell us that the sun is no i don't really know you don't know so you believe that you just i believe the sun exists 
You believe the sun exists, okay, but you don't remember how far away they told us, right? No, not really. Okay, what if I was to tell you that it may or may not be three to 4,000 miles away? And it's closer. It's a localized oh, sun. Not, yeah, I never thought it was three or 4,000 miles away. But yeah, but they tell us it's 93 million miles away. Yeah. You're saying it's more like three to 4,000 miles? Yes, sir. Yeah, so, and, that, and the proof that you can see with your own physical eyes without using NASA or any kind of other alternate media is when the sun is peering through the sky and the clouds, let's say, for example, like later at night when the sun is probably like about an hour or two from setting and it's cloudy, you'll see the sun's rays go out at a pyramid-type angle. Like you'll have over here will be a ray like going like this, and then as it gets closer and closer, to the ground, the sun is the top capstone of the pyramid, and the rays come out like a pyramid, like on your dollar bill. Does that make sense? Yeah, I see what you're trying to say, but okay. what does that prove? Well, if the sun is 93 million miles away, since the sun is significantly bigger than the earth, right? We could all probably agree on that that's what they teach us. All of the rays from the sun should all be at 90 degree angles, right? It should completely... In Engulf the sun, the, the earth. It's not always going to be at a 90 degree angle. The earth spins, so it's not. Do you feel it spinning right now? Well, no, but I believe in gravity. Okay. Do you believe in gravity? Uh, I believe in gravity as much as I believe in God. Does that make sense? Depends on what you think God is. Okay, so if, if I was to say I don't have an answer for that, but gravity, is that akin to somebody saying, I don't believe in that, but God, or but the Bible. Do you see how people can explain stuff away by using something that they were taught growing up? Yeah, but I believe in science. Okay. And what does gravity teach us? Uh, that depending on the mass of things, you know, uh, certain things can have its own gravity and then pull us towards that center of gravity. Okay. How come I'm not being pulled towards you or her right now? Because I'm not as large as the Earth. Okay. And so when something is more dense than the air around it, why does it fall to the ground then? Because of density and buoyancy? Repeat that. Could the term gravity be used to replace just our common senses? Oh, thanks for this conversation. Yeah. Please research Flat Earth, okay? Because we're being lied to by our school system. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. So I got in what I could with him. That's good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's not going to believe anything that I say, but now he's held accountable because he heard it. So, I think we'll have a lot of, uh, might not even have to really walk around. Might just have some people come up to me and be curious of what I'm trying to share. This guy's got an art demo. Post up shop over there. You are the black sheep. If you believe in something that doesn't go with the crowd here, there's something wrong with you. And all these people feel uncomfortable for me being here if they were to have a conversation. Um, I would make them feel very uncomfortable and, you know, I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. I mean, I don't want to uh, turn people off, but, you know, you gotta hit them where it hurts and you hit them with their education. You know, not citing NASA or Hollywood shuts down a lot of a person's perceptions of a globe earth and so if we're able to just constantly chip away at that wall <coughs> sooner or later walls will collapse um, people have to be it's always like people have to have a, a reason for, uh, you know, switching teams, if you will. You know, does that feel like a winner? Well, science and scientism and scientists, they all back 
the globe model. And so since all of these people here have elevated scientists to a level uh, that is almost like godlike, then of course they're going to feel uncomfortable when you go against mainstream media, mainstream scientism. I do have my uh, satellites don't exist also that I carry with me to the colleges and uh, clearly a different demographic here. There's all ages, plus it's Sunday. I did drive by the University of Minnesota yesterday to kind of check it out to see if it was even worth going there and it wasn't. There weren't a lot of people there at all. So I figured I'd come out here and just uh, try to shake things up. Once you get to a certain place in your ideas about a flat earth, then why not share that with the public? How else are these people going to hear? These people would never think, that little girl would never think to explore flat earth. You know, she's just regurgitating what she's taught. She couldn't have been any more than, what do you think, nine? Nine or ten years old? I think I'll get a lot of reactions if I held the satellites don't exist idea also. But we'll try the bumper stickers for a while. Hashtag legalize flat earth. Proud parents of a flat earth student. Do not Google flat earth. And I break for flat earthers only. So. going to take some time, you know, and I don't know what the establishment has planned for the sheep and the people that understand that the earth is flat, what they have planned for all of us, but you need to start picking a side, you know, do not be no double-minded, do not be wavering like a wave in the sea, we got to start getting to a point where we're drawing lines in the sand so that we know who's on our side and who's not, you know, who's, who's on our side in terms of, uh, you know, a real person, you know, Jake Gibson, he certainly comes off as a, an authentic genuine guy about Flat Earth, Flat Earth Asshole, also known as. So, I'm going to uh, switch up my signs here. I seem to get a better reaction when I do the satellites don't exist, because people, everybody believes satellites exist, right? Why would you think any differently? Just go back to the fold. Stop being a... Uh... Stop ruining lives. You know, stop spreading fake news, right? As you wake up and you begin the awakening process, you will realize that fake news is our mainstream media.
until you're able to get away from that trance of watching and listening to your Fox Newses, uh, even just to get like an update of the news, uh, you really gotta try to be, uh, try to challenge yourself. Look at all these people here. This reminds me of the time when uh, Jimmy John's was doing dollar subs. So this will be a really good area to come back to. I'm going to keep walking because I am kind of short on time. So um, hopefully as I keep walking I can keep moving and I'll end up at my car when I need to. <clears throat> All right, let's try to hit some people up as they're relaxing. You know, they don't want to be bothered. Let's see if we can shake things up a little bit. There's four people right there, so I don't know. Let's, uh... They're just relaxing and eating. Let's see if we can shake it up. Hey guys and gals, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thanks. Looks like uh, some good food. Yeah. Right on. Uh, I was just walking around doing a little social experiment about some bumper stickers. I was wondering if I could get your opinion. Sure. Just kind of like a first reaction if you saw these on the back of somebody's car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, be honest, okay? I've, I've heard everything, okay? <laughs> so if you do feel like you would offend me, don't, don't feel bad, okay? Yeah. All right. So this is very controversial, so what do you think about these guys? I don't know what it is. Yeah. So when you read the top one, what do you think it might mean? Yeah. trying to enlighten the public that NASA and our educational system and mainstream media has actually lied to us about where we're from. Yeah. Huh. I actually don't know nothing about that. don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't care where you live? Like, it doesn't matter? No, I, I believe what I know about the Earth. Okay. I just don't really care about legalizing flat Earth. Sure. Yeah. Do you, do y'all, would you guys say you kind of lean towards, like, creation or evolution? Creation. Creation? Okay. And then so when you when when a creator or God created earth and the universe and everything, uh, do you think that's true? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then based on what evidence would you say that you have that the outer space and the universe and everything is real, not citing NASA or Hollywood? Yeah. So not using Hollywood or NASA, how would you be able to convince somebody that the earth is in fact a globe and not flat? I believe, personally, I believe in the Bible, and I believe that that's absolutely true. And yeah. so my, part, partly my evidence would be the creation story in the Bible. Okay. And uh, I know that a lot of people wouldn't agree that it's evidence, and that's fine. Sure. But I would not maybe use it to convince, because I know that that's not something that like, I can convince people if they don't believe that that's true. Yeah. But that's personally my evidence of where I find it. And I can't say that, so I believe in, our, in NASA and the like, space travel that we've done. But I yeah. I would say my first basis of evidence would be the Bible. Okay. Did you know that the Bible has about five really solid verses that can actually uh, give the interpretation that the earth is immovable and not spinning? Yeah, what are they? Uh, there's some in Job, and then there's an Isaiah. Do you know what they are? Uh, in the Bible, you want to look them up? Yeah, I mean, uh, let me see, Job... 
20, 28? Jump 28? I think so. Okay. Um, in Isaiah also, he does talk about a sphere or a ball being tossed. I'm not sure where that is. Just because I'm live streaming right now, and if I, have a, if I go on the internet and I look um, for Bible verses and stuff. But I just encourage you just to kind of explore that the Bible does talk about um, the different versions. Because Isaiah talks about a sphere or a ball. And then he just said that it's a circle. So a lot of people, when I have conversations about the earth being flat or a globe, they say, well, of course the earth is a circle, right? And I say, by a circle you mean pizza, right? Or right. dinner plate, or yeah. a ball. Because yeah. we do have to use proper... There is a difference, yeah. Yeah, and so when Isaiah described uh, he sits and over the circle of the earth, could that mean that God is actually sitting over top of us as if to look over down onto a pizza? I mean... Yeah, and that's a good question. And a lot of people, it's hard for me to explain. I can only explain.